am i audible hello uh, you were you were uh, we were lost you when uh, where uh i think maybe uh, okay Uh, have you discussed the importer? Yeah, I Hello? think you were talking about uh, uh, the regions. You were calculating uh, their number hey. using the count oh. function. Oh, that was okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, we have two ways of encoding the label encoding. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, uh, as I said, the, the uh, machine learning algorithms need numerical data, right? Which means we need to encode the uh, categorical data into numbers. Uh, and there are different ways to do that. Uh, the, the first method is label encoder, and the other one is one-hot encoder. Uh, we already uh, import label encoder. Uh, so, uh, for the one hot encoder, you can use just these dummies that will uh, encode them uh, depending on the data. Right. So, here, uh, those are the methods and the columns that we want to encode. For example, for a uh, label encoder, we want to encode. Uh, the sex column, the smoker column, and the region column. And for the one hot encoder, uh, we include the, the children and we call the, the function, the, this encoder function. We pass the method, we pass the data frame, and the columns that we want to uh, encode, uh, yeah, column levels, right? Yeah. And then uh, what's called columns one hot why do we need this uh i think this is this is not important uh oh oh that 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 we we need the column names right the, this is for the uh, column level this is for the uh, column names for the uh the whole thing coder since they, they, they we might since we might um uh give a different column that that's why all right so when we do this um as you can see the the all the categorical data are encoded like the six uh, zero to one that's female is female is one uh for smoker yes and no and region, uh, as I said here, uh, we get a uh, unique region. We have four, so the, it, they will be encoded uh, zero to three, zero, one, two, three, right? Um, uh, you can check that. And the other thing is uh, sometimes we need to scale certain columns, right? Because that they, they might not be um, comparable with of the data. Uh, as you can see here, the charge column is uh, or contains big events. So we need to uh, scale yeah, it yeah. so that. Yes? I think you, uh, you are breaking up. Uh, and I have also one question. OK. Uh, what what question? Go ahead. Uh, what uh, is uh, the need for uh, this uh, these two type of uh, uh, encoder? Uh, I mean, what's the, their their difference? Uh, the the whole point is to convert uh, uh, categorical data into numbers, right? <laughs> so, what's the, the the difference between the these two methods? Uh, okay. Uh, sometimes. Uh, we might need to uh, encode even numerical data. Uh, let me just check here. Uh, 
uh, po, po, as you can see here, the the children, right? Uh, the number of children is an integer value, which is numeric, right? But <clears throat> sometimes we may uh, need to uh, encode them so that. Um, uh, let me just think. Uh, so, uh, for for this tutorial, we're gonna uh, use them as as they are. But sometimes um, th 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 this can be categorical for uh, certain classes. Uh, I, I believe, for example, if a family has uh, as no, zero children uh then that would be one class and if they have one that would be another uh, etc right so we we might need this for classification but for the regression we we don't need it we don't need it so that's why uh, we sometimes uh encode a numerical data types which looks like categories especially when we do uh, classification. Uh, what was the other question? Hello, Abraham? Uh, hello, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was asking about uh, this, uh, the label uh, encoder and the uh, hot encoder. I think you... No, I, I, I just explained it. The, the, yeah, yeah. Encode, the, the main objective of encoding is to translate the category uh, or the uh, string to a numeric. Since the machine learning algorithms need only a numeric data, we must uh, convert them to a numeric. That, that's yeah, so both, both uh, of the uh, two methods are used to convert uh, string data into numeric mm -hmm. right yeah. yes yes but so what is what is the difference between them as, as I said earlier uh, then the number of children right it's numeric data type right but for insurance company, uh they 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 will have a category for a family that has uh for example uh zero to two uh children can be one group within uh one insurance policy and for some uh for for example from three to five that will have a different policy etc right so that sometimes can be uh taken as a category right so yeah for the first, for the first category uh there are different data right zero one two three those has to be also encoded uh for the different categories that's why we need uh to encode them uh, like using a hot encoder usually for classification we use the the hot encoder because it will encode everything I hope that helps. I understand it now. Yeah, for the classification we use the, for the classification you explained uh, now we use the hot encoder, and yes. for just simple uh, uh, transformation of a string for into the numbers we use label encoder, right? Yes. Uh, actually, you can use uh, hot encoder for um, regression too. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, yeah, so uh, after encoding, we uh, scaling. Uh, we can, for example, when the numbers are uh, like um, very big or very small, we need to scale them, right? So as, as I said earlier, compared to the other columns, this, the uh, amount of charge or the the money it's big right so we can uh, scale it down a little bit that 
get so that it gets closer to these numbers. Uh, in 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 this, t I mean, in this project, you can uh, scale both this and this. Uh, yeah. So there there, there are different, uh, scaling mechanisms depending or uh, depending on your data. You can use the different uh, uh, scalers or scaling functions. <laughs> so in here we are scaling the the chart column using min max scalar. You see now they are like between zero and one. They they are scaled, right? Um, and then from the scaled we drop the the charges uh because uh here we are oh we're going to extract feature extraction i i can call this one feature extraction or let me make it markdown i don't want to make it big so uh the the next step is uh the the training and evaluating step right so the x value or the features uh, you can choose the appropriate features for your prediction right but here we want to use all of them as a feature and the charge is our target that that we want to predict right so uh, from the scale we drop the charge column and make sure that uh, axis has to be one so since we are deleting or removing the, the whole uh, column, uh, that will be our features, which will contain age six uh, BMI children, smoker in the region. And then our target, which is Y, that's the uh, charge column, that charge column. And then we split uh, our uh, data into uh, train and test, train and test. So X train, X test, Y train, Y test, using the uh, train test split function from a scalar uh, preprocess, and we pass the the features and the target, and then the test size. Uh, usually, it's uh, 2080 or 3070. It depends. You can experiment with the the test size uh, so that you can get uh, a good accuracy. Uh, by changing the the, the size might uh, you might get different results and also the random state uh, random state if you don't you can put any number here uh, if you don't put any number here whenever you run the the model you will have uh, different results but if you set your random state to be a fixed number it will be always the same unless you change other parameters or hyperparameters. Uh, so this is our train uh, test split. And the next is just to import the model and um, train the model. So for the linear regression uh, that we imported, uh, we assign it to be a large model is equals to linear regression. Once we have that, we can uh, fit the data or train the data. So to, to train it, we, we will say the model name or the model dot fit x train y train, right? So uh, I put here uh, percent percent time uh, for computing the, the time taken for training this uh, data set. So as you can see, uh, it takes the whole time like 33 uh, milliseconds. 33 milliseconds. And for the decision tree, we will have decision tree uh, regressor. Um, I didn't we put that there? No, that, that's fine. Uh, and then we, we, we train the model. We get uh, 5.23 milliseconds, which, which looks like this decision tree is faster than this one. That's like 33. But I wonder why this was supposed to be fast. We didn't specify the depths, so it's going down. Um, yeah, anyway, 
Uh, similarly for the random forest regressor, am I still audible? Yes, you are, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, any question? We are just defining the, the models and- uh, So far, so good. All right, uh, and then the next one is gradient boosting ma uh, machines. Uh, for that, you need to install uh, XBooster uh, at the beginning you you might not have it by default so xg booster you need to install it using uh pip install x boost and then you import it as xgb that's there and then we can use that model okay random forest and we have that uh, did we run this one okay this is kind of weird um and this one takes 233 milliseconds which is greater than the decision tree which is true and this one is much slower uh i, I will tell you why uh, because we haven't uh used any uh hyperparameter tuning all right so once we train them, we can evaluate them, right? Uh, so to evaluate, uh, I, I write a function for evaluation that will take the, the model that here we, we call the model like uh, XGB model, uh, RFR model, um, DT model, and LR model. Those, we, we, uh, we want to evaluate them using one function uh, and it takes the x test y test and then using the x test we predict the y value using the model and then we compute the, the mean absolute error uh, and the mean square uh, error and then the r2 square error <clears throat> and then uh, you can print each of the uh, errors so that we can see the difference. And we also need the Y predicted so that we can plot it uh, against the uh, actual data. So I have that function. So the, the models that I have, uh, linear regression, Hello, yeah, yeah. Hello. Uh, sorry, guys. This network these days. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Yeah, yeah. You were uh, explaining uh, about uh, evaluating uh, those models. Yeah. 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 So I've discussed this one, right? The, the evaluating the model. Yeah, you were uh, talking about that. All right. So. Uh, once I have this, I can pass the model, the X test and the Y test for the different models. And then I can predict the uh, value and then I compute the uh, different uh, matrices or the scores. 
uh, and then from we return the uh, scores and the y predicted so that uh, we can see the difference all right so here these are the models linear regression decision tree etc so for each of them uh, we we compute the mean absolute error or the scores and the uh, y predicted by passing the model and the x test and the y test Th these are actually can yeah uh, they are always the same uh, and then we append the errors and then we can plot them one by one uh what this doesn't look right. Um, oh, yeah, that, that's fine. These are our models, right? So if we do that, uh, we get this. <clears throat> uh, as you can see, for the uh, linear regression, we get, uh, let me just add a tab. Uh, no, 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 this one. When we print here. Oh, uh, no. Uh, I think here. All right, this should be much better, yes. All right, so the evaluation metrics for the linear regression, the uh, mean absolute error is 0 0.071, the mean square error 0 0.01, the R square 0 0.73, right? The, the main objective is to uh, decrease the uh, errors and increase the uh, square. That means we want this to be around one and those to be uh, small. Now the, for the decision tree, as you can see here, uh, it's 0 0.044, that's 0 0.00071, uh, which means this performs better than that one. When we compute, I mean, compare the absolute error, uh, I think the same goes for the mean square. That's 0, 0, 0089, that's 0, 01. And also the score, that's 73, that's 77. 7. This is greater than that one, right? Similarly, uh, for the random forest, we have 0 0.42, which is less than this, and 0 0.006, which is also less than 0 0.08. So the random forest. Uh, performs better than these two and for the x5 which is greater than this one uh, even it's also greater than uh, this one uh, and also uh, what is that uh, no that that's fine right so this this is not good right uh, it, so comparing all these four, we can see the random forest is uh, performing well. This is using the default hyperparameters. I, I will come to that, right? Um, you can compare, you can plot them and see the difference. You see the uh, linear regression highs has the um, the highest mean absolute error, and the random forest has the least. So this performs uh, better than the others. Uh, the same thing for the mean square. Uh, and the R square, as you can see, this is the highest. I hope the interpretation is clear. Are there any questions? Uh, let me just check. Do we need to use those models only or it is 
chosen based on our project what's the condition to select a model to try for our project uh, i believe uh, you are asked to implement linear regression random forest and xgb uh, decision tree wasn't included there so you have to uh, implement three of them uh, is that clear matthews I hope it's clear. Uh, all right. And the, the other way to check is just graphically, we can plot the uh, actual data and the predicted uh, data, right? So here we are plotting an, a scatter plot, uh, white list against Y predicted. Uh, with a blue marker, uh, with alpha zero. So the, the what we call it, the, the blurred one is the predicted and the, the full color, the blue color is uh, the tasted. Yeah, you can see here we have a good prediction around for the, the smaller data points, I believe. Um, similarly for the decision tree. And uh, I think we should include the title, uh, maybe here, uh, why predicted, uh, you, you, you could include the, the name here in the title, I think here. Yeah, so that, that's one option to compare the, the predicted and the uh, test data or the actual data. Um, you, can, you can plot the, 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 the trees. Um, this is, I'm not going to run it because it, sometimes it takes long to create the, the tree. Uh, this is for the decision tree model without any... Um, uh, parameter tuning, uh, it takes some time. So you just need to use plot tree. You import it from a scalar tree, import plot tree. And then the decision tree model, you pass that the feature names. The feature names are then the extreme columns, right? And field none. Uh, etc. There are different uh, parameters that you can pass. Uh, similarly, for the, uh, the, the, the for the random uh, forest, we only plotting one uh, one branch or one decision tree. Uh, as you know, the ra random forest is uh, an assembled uh, algorithm that combines different decision uh, tree models combined, right? So this is just one tree. It's not the same as this one, right? It's like taking this or the first, I, I, I believe this one, the first branch, uh, either this one or this one. We take uh, a single tree and the index zero. You can change the index to get the different uh, uh, decision tree in the random forest. Uh, the other one is a feature importance. So we are we predict the amount uh, that the company charges uh, using the different features, right? So uh, and those features might not have the same contribution for the insurance charge, right? So to, to get or to know which uh, feature is important, uh, we can uh, plot them or we can even see the, the, the data. So for that, uh, we use uh, model.feature importance. From the model, uh, you can get the important features. It, it will uh, give you those. Uh, with their uh, importance, and then we sort the values, uh, etc. 
So we pass the model, model dot feature importance. Uh, don't forget this underscore, right? And our index will be the feature names that we're going to pass. And then we can plot them we using the bar plot, right? So if we do that, for example, for the, uh, for the decision tree, uh, we will have this. So as you can see for, uh, for the charts, the most uh, important feature is the smoker column. This is the one that mainly has an influence on the, the amount that you're gonna pay, right? That, that looks logical, right? If the, the, the family or the uh, family member doesn't smoke, which means they are uh, healthy, which means they will pay less. And if they smoke, they will pay more. So the main one is this one and the BMI also, which means uh, if they have a high BM, they might pay more at the age, etc. Uh, so those, uh, even the region, the children and the sex, right? Uh, I hope you understand the importance of this, which feature mainly um, affects the target. That's what we want to know. Is, is that clear? Uh, you, you, yes, you are, yes, yes. You are asked to uh, answer this question in your challenge. That's why I'm uh, for, focusing on that. So similarly, you can check, but uh the the importance is different right when you use this um those also have uh, importance but not as much as the this column right but when you use the decision tree um this this is the the main one uh i, I will show you later so this tells us the uh, decision tree starts from the uh, smoker column, right? And then if they are smoker, that means uh, if it's like greater than one, uh, if they are smoker, it will next check the IB, uh, otherwise it will check the age, right? When the, the leaf branch, uh, I, will, I will show you uh, or later on the, on the graph. Uh, similarly, you can, uh, uh, no, this is for the X boost. This is for the uh, random forest. And this is for the, I think, plot record and in oral. Oh, this is decision. So I didn't plot for the linear. Uh, oh, for, for the linear, we don't, we, we, we don't have feature importance. Uh, I think it's because at least square meter. Yeah. Uh, the next one is the hyperparameter tuning. So we got uh, those accuracies by default using the default parameters, right? Those, but by changing some uh, hyperparameters, we can uh, get a good accuracy. As I said earlier, the main objective is to decrease the uh, mean square and uh, mean absolute error and to increase the R square error. We want this to be around one, even possible one, and those to zero, right? So for that, we, we, we will have uh, different hyperparameters like the uh, depths of the, the tree. Um, in, in the case of uh, XGB, whether you want to boost it or not, um, yeah. So these are some of the uh, uh, parameters that we can experiment with. Uh, the, the boost whether boost samples are used when uh, building tree. If false, the whole data set will be used, which will be um, more expensive, right? Uh, and then the max depths, uh, that's the max depths of the trees. If it's not done, the nodes are expanded until all leaves are Cure or until all leaves contain less than the main um, sample split sample. 
uh, the uh, concepts that you need to understand here. Uh, what, what's uh, a mean sample split, what's number of estimators, etc. So these are the parameters that we can play around, right? Uh, so for that here, we, and it's not possible to get um, a good accuracy by changing uh, now and then or different uh, uh, parameters, right? What we will do is we will we will form a grid uh, of the the parameters. It's like you can uh, consider it as a cross tab, right? Uh, that means this in this case we want it to be true, right? In every case it's gonna be true. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so that that when when the max gaps is two, it will take the rest like the mean sample leaf, the mean uh, sample uh, split, all these numbers, and, and the estimator, et cetera. So it will, it will take every combination. And then we will get the results for these different combinations. And then from those, we can extract the best performing uh, parameters. And then using those best performing parameters, we can uh, train our uh, model. So uh, you can play around with those parameters. Uh, and for that, we, we need to uh, use grid search CV that I imported above. Uh, the estimator is just like the model, right? In this case, we are using the random first model. And then if you remember, this one performs best, right? but I want to make it better by changing the parameters. Uh, and the uh, param grid, that's params, these are defined here, and the CV uh, and the uh, number of jobs, verbose, verbose, uh, true or false, if you want some, um, what you call it, explanation, etc. cetera. Uh, and for the scoring, we want to use the R2 square for, uh checking the different uh, grids so what, once you have the the grid search using that you can train grid search dot fit x train y train uh this will take some time but i'm i'm, I'm gonna run it anyway <coughs> um fitting for uh faults for each of these candidates uh this number, I think, I believe this is uh, this times that times that times that. You can check it. And the fourfold is the CV value. Uh, are there any questions till then? Why you use pose label encoder and code decoder in a condition to that? I, I didn't use pause. I just showed you how to use the label encoder and the hot encoder matches. For this uh, regression model, we use the uh, label encoder. Uh, usually, uh, as I said earlier, for maybe classification, um, you can use the uh, one hot encoder. What, what's the target in our case? Yeah, that's a, what, what do you mean in our case? In, in this problem, it's the charge, the amount of money that the company charges the, the family. Or do you mean in your uh, challenge document? Yeah, in our challenge document, uh, that is a target. Uh, I believe it's the, the premium total and claim, uh, claim something. I, I don't exactly remember. There are two uh, at least. So you will you will train and yeah, yeah. Uh, two, th there are two, uh, I think, maybe more, I, I don't know. I, I didn't check that. But okay, the premium you. and the claim are there. Is that clear? Adasa? Okay, good. All right, so it's done. It takes about one minute. Uh, 
um, right? Uh, as I said, it, it's trying to find the optimal parameters using those combinations because we cannot uh, handle them one by one or experiment uh, them with by one by one. So what we'll do, we will do, uh, or we will create a, a grid and then do that. So from those parameters, what are the best combination? That, that's what we want to know, right? So uh, from the grid search dot uh, best estimator, <coughs> those are uh, the parameters. Max depth is five. In this case, we used uh, two, three, five, ten. So it takes five, right? And then the mean sample leaf, it's ten. Uh, mean sample leaf, it's ten. Not this, not this. And the number of estimators, two hundred. Uh, random state, that's forty-four. It's fixed, right? Uh, so these are the the parameters. And what's the best score? That's like zero point eighty, right? The maximum that no zero point eight six, right? The maximum with the default uh, estimator was zero point eight four, I think. Um, mean square error. Uh, no, the the score that's seventy seven eighty three. This was the the highest, right? Zero point eight three. But now, using those combinations, our accuracy or our score, uh, not accuracy, yeah, actually we can, that's 90, 86% accuracy, kind of. Uh, where is it? Yeah, 0 0.86, that was 0 0.7 something, right? Now using those, we can, we can train. So random forest regressor, if you remember, we only passed the random state. But now we pass the depths, the mean sample leaf, and the number of estimators. And I also time this one. Uh, if you run that, it's like 282 milliseconds, which is much faster than the previous one, because the previous one, it goes down deep until the uh, that the leaf something uh, is, is satisfied, right? Uh, and now we can plot the tree. Uh, we already checked the score. So the tree, uh, here we gave it a depth of three. Actually, the I, I'm, I'm not using this five. Um, if I use five, I then might get a better, uh, where is it? Uh, okay, where did I? Yeah, here. <laughs> so if I do that uh, and check the accuracy, uh, what is that? RF model dot uh, mean square. Uh, how did I? No, that that's mean square error. No, the R square. R score. Uh, the model. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Well, Uh, evaluation. Okay, we we give uh, whitest. Uh, oh, we need to predict. I should have included because I need to show you the difference. That's why. Um, yeah, you can you can use the MS uh, and then the R that the score. I don't need this, and we need to do that. 
but our model uh, y predicted y test y predicted y test let's run that model our model is uh, uh, rfr uh, hyperbarometric tune this this model so if we do that uh oh i should have print them uh, print I, I i will i'll just do this and we'll know which one is which ms e print uh arut uh as you can see this is like 0 0.85 that's 0 0.41 that's 0 0.0056 i believe this is big uh, actually uh that that's true that's true uh you know why because we use the r2 square as a matrix uh well yes here I'm, I'm i'm using the the matrix so it's computing or comparing the uh r2 square not the others so we want a higher r2 square so we uh, get a higher uh r2 square earlier the r2 square was 0 0.84 i believe no um that was 0 0.83 now it's 0 0.86 or something mm, yeah 0 0.86 all right so let's run this one uh as you can see since the the max dips is five max tips is five i got one two three four five that that's what it means if i change the max tips to three uh where is the model if i change this to three uh, the accuracy will a little bit decrease as you can see it's eight five one now earlier it was eight five six and if you plot the three you get this one uh, let me expand it if possible all uh, right so it's it it's how training it the the smoker value less than 0 0.5 the if you remember smoker is either yes or no which means either it's one or zero since it's the uh most important feature it starts from that right so if that is uh, less than 0 0.5 that means if it's not smoker the the next uh thing that it will check is the uh then the the lost uh, okay let, let me check this one uh if it is if it's smoker that means if it's greater than that it's smoker right if it is smoker the next thing uh that we'll check is the the next most important one in the estimation which is the uh, bmi right uh and if it's not smoker the next is the the third important one which is age right once uh it checks the uh, bmi uh, depending on the average or blah blah it will check the edge uh again uh it, there's a kind of category like yeah anyway uh th this is how it works yeah i think that is clear and you got an idea how you can implement those four uh ml models for regression any questions uh, you can use those for classification. Uh, 
right yeah can you say more about parameters what are the mean by or represent and how our model built our model based on them uh Matthews, I, I don't understand your question the the parameters no uh the hyperparameters that we can change those by default they have a default value right uh so changing them will have different accuracy so uh experimenting that one by one is a bit tough and it's random so what you can do is uh, you can use grid search you will create a grid of hyperparameters and then you run the model and then corresponding to those you will have uh, the 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 uh, results and from those you can take the best ones that's the idea i hope that's clear and yeah w was that your question Matthias, am I audible? Yes, you are. Yeah, yeah. Add the parameters from the uh, model. What do you mean from the model? Uh, the the parameter, for example, parameter uh, are like. Mm, because uh, x and y frame for the function but the hyper parameters are the parameters that you can change uh in training any other question is it clear Okay. No more question. You share the document. Yeah. Yeah, I, I will do that. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, yeah, and um, if it's clear, we can stop. Uh, we can stop it here. All right. Uh, have a good evening, everyone. Bye.